It's evident that Russia's invasion of Ukraine has not advanced as swiftly as many in the Kremlin would have thought. The conflict has now entered its second month. Even some Western experts have not anticipated this kind of situation. This is partly due to the brave resistance by Ukrainians and partly because of underperformance of the Russian military. A key Russian naval asset could have greatly helped Vladimir Putin's cause, but it's nowhere to be seen. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the lead ship of the Russian Navy, Admiral Kuznetsov, can't attack Ukraine. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play online military-themed strategy game Conflict of Nations, which is played by millions of players worldwide. We talk a lot about military power and tactical plans of different nations on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? Conflict of Nations is set in the late 20th and early 21st century, fielding present-day and highly modern battlefield technology. At the core of the game is an exciting real-time combat system placing players in control of an existing nation of this world and its army, pitting them against other gamers in a struggle for world domination. Units are moved across the map in real-time often taking hours to fulfill their assigned mission goals, allowing for a very deep level of strategic planning and integrated tactical execution. Forming lasting alliances or short-lived coalitions is an essential part of the modern military environment. Hence, Conflict of Nations allows players to form cooperative plans and teams in an all-out effort to conquer set objectives through the combined force of arms. Conflict of Nations can be played in PC or mobile. So why wait? Register yourself using the link in the description below and get 13,000 gold reward along with one month Security Council membership. Admiral Kuznetsov aircraft carrier is serving as the flagship of the Russian Navy. The ship was named after Admiral of the Fleet of Soviet Union Nikolai Gerasimovich Kuznetsov, who served in the Soviet Navy during the Second World War. She was built by the Black Sea Shipyard and displaces 55,000 tons. Admiral Kuznetsov was launched in 1985 and commissioned on the 25th of December 1990. The ship has been deployed in many operations and was most recently involved in the Syrian campaign. Admiral Kuznetsov has an air wing of 30 fighters and carries MiG-29K and Su-33 fighter planes. Admiral Kuznetsov is equipped with a 3D air surface search radar over the main mast and four multifunctional APAR active phased array radar panels. The warship is equipped with multiple weapon systems, six AK-630 AA guns, eight CADS N1 Kashtan CIWS, 12 P700 Granite SSM, 24 8 cell vertical launch system, and RBU 12000 UDAV 1 ASW rocket launchers. As evident, Kuznetsov has the capability to single handedly turn the tide of a battle. But unfortunately for Russia, and fortunately for Ukraine, the warship is inoperable. The warship has been facing a major issue since 2016, when black smoke was seen coming out from it during its engagement in the Syrian conflict. Admiral Kuznetsov has been suffering from propulsion issues for some time and was always accompanied by tugboats. To mitigate these and upgrade the warship, an overhaul was planned at Zvezdoshka Shipyard Repair in Murmansk and was initially slated to finish in 2020. The Kuznetsov was stationed inside floating dock PD-50. The dock, capable of handling vessels up to 80,000 tons, is the biggest one Russia had and was one of the largest in the world. On the 30th of October 2018, the dock's tank started to take in water 
and led to the tilting of the dock on one side. One of the PD-50's two cranes, which were 70 tons each, fell on the deck of the Kuznetsov. This resulted in a hole of 4 by 5 meters. The second crane also got imbalanced and, as per some reports, fell into the sea. Somehow, PD-50 did not capsize and, as the water filled the dock, Kuznetsov floated and was tugged out. In about four hours, PD-50 went down and sank. The incident caused a lot of damage to the warship, but this was not the end. In December 2019, a major fire broke out on board Kuznetsov as work continued on the ship's refit. The fire on the Admiral Kuznetsov broke out during welding work at a shipyard in the Arctic port of Murmansk and spread quickly through the carrier's internal compartments. Reports indicate that the ship's crew and emergency teams spent the day battling the blaze. This resulted in several injuries and death of personnel and some harm to the superstructure. Russia's state-owned shipbuilding monopoly, United Shipbuilding Corporation CEO Alexei Rachmanov, had stated some time back, We have calculated the cost of repairs. The total budget is in the limits of 300 to 350 million rubles, about 4.7 million US dollars. We are lucky that the fire had not damaged anything important. There are no grounds to believe that the accident will, in any way, affect the completion of the overhaul of the Admiral Kuznetsov. But this assertion has been questioned by analysts in Russia as well as outside. In March 2021, Yevgeny Zudin, General Director of Shipyard No. 10 in Polyarny, was arrested under suspicion of diverting 45 million rubles approximately 600,000 US dollars that had been allocated to the repair of the Russian Navy's Northern Fleet warship. Russia has many Soviet-era military platforms and support equipment that are three to four decades old and are outdated by today's standards. Many of these are having lingering issues and Admiral Kuznetsov is one of the prime examples. A deep refit will have to include an upgrade to most major components like turbines and boiler systems, electronics and communication systems, as well as weapon suite. So basically almost everything except the hull may need to be changed. Then the carrier can be outfitted with caliber NK class cruise missiles. Onyx supersonic anti-ship cruise missiles and the Zircon advanced hypersonic missiles. Especially the Zircon missile integration will provide Admiral Kuznetsov with excellent offensive capability. But the issue is with funding. The Russian government has not been able to allocate the required finances. While the situation was bad earlier, now with sanctions it's gotten even worse. It's unlikely that Admiral Kuznetsov would make a comeback anytime soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.